look how small that shit is. It's true. This is crazy. Right, baby. We are getting red tear. Actual monitor motors. It's been great, brother. How you been? I've been well, bro. We gonna get ready to have some fun. To check something, I just want to make sure everything is on the up and up. Yes. Let's see what I did. Control. Oh. This is actually running really well. Oh, what the hell am I doing over here? Did I not bend past this? Oh shit, this shit is fucking up on me. Nah, this shit caught the COVID. I want y'all to see something. I want you to see something I added, Justin. Look, I added confetti. And I added COVID, dog. So congratulations. You got COVID, B. You got COVID, my dude. Oh. Yeah, that's crazy, right? You got COVID now, though. So, I didn't want you, I didn't want to let you know. Yo, one time skills, what's up? Welcome. Somewhere, I got to raise the chat so we can actually see y'all talking shit. But yeah, this is the shit I was trying to tell you about earlier one time. Feel me? Now y'all got COVID because I told y'all y'all do. And then what I got also y'all going to find interesting is that, oh, no, is this that? Oh, shit. The mic is way too small. I got to bring that over here. So, yeah, if I want to say something, I could say something. Feel me? Yo. Feel me, feel me. Oh, I just died in the game. I'm wildin'. All right, so if I do control I, I should be able to play in the game. Oh, what's my controller? Yeah. The problem is that it doesn't let me go straight into the game. Where the fuck is it? Explosives around you will detonate when the timer reaches zero. Find the correct room before they detonate. One all right, we should be all set. Let me just make sure COVID is not touching the screen. Nah, I gotta figure something out because this shit is annoying. What is it? So I could go back to the game real quick. I can't. That I don't understand. So sorry about that, guys. I figured it out. 
Oh, you already know I might die. Yeah, but I could have sworn I did this shit. That's crazy. They got me doing this shit again. Justin, you telling me I didn't do this shit? Oh. I could have sworn I did this shit. I could have sworn I did this shit. Oh, it was all for me right there. I'll tell you one thing. Oh, is this shit. This is sick, man. I already got my tickets to IMAX. I hope, I hope whoever's watching later or right now is as excited as I am for Spiral from the Book of Soul. Me and One Time Skills, he's also in the chat. We got our IMAX tickets ready. I'll tell you one thing, this shit runs way better on this other, on the monitor than it does on the TV. No screen tearing at all. Runs perfectly. I don't remember any of this though right here, so. Oh. Well, well, what is this shit? Let me out of here. <laughs> when I get out of this thing, I'm you what? Write a story about me. You've already done so much, Oswald. Oh. PS5? No. This is the PC. But my Xbox controller. You feel me? You gotta have that. You gotta have the double the double the shit. Actually, where's my spiral photo, son? I had something for spiral. Oh look at it right here. Look at my shit right here, baby. Pace. Right, and then I can put spiral up here. Y'all can see me live doing this shit. And now I got the spiral up there. Mm -hmm. Wait, I'm gonna Looks good on this monitor, too. Alright, we 
we're gonna figure this shit out, baby. I can't wait for Sparrow to come out. That's the shit right there. I'm still shocked that it's Chris Rock and Samuel L. Jackson. That shit still throws me off, but in a good way. What's the point of letting me climb up here if they know my ass can't jump up there? with a couple right hands and he was good. Nah, Jigsaw is grimy. What he's doing? Oh! Yo! You relax. Back off, top. I like Jose Canseco. What's that D? Y'all hear this dude? Man, he could take. Give me that D. Whoa. I'm picking up this pipe, dog. He was in his own game. Yo, he's he's crazy. What? <laughs> Imagine you surviving all these tramps. You doing your best. And then you step on a piece of glass and you die. That's got to be some bullshit. All right. Getting ready to hit. Beat up Jose Canseco again. Back off, top. You ruined my life. I ruined your life? What I did? Oh no! Oh no! Damn! My man hit me with the bank. All you needed it was the. That, that that noise, bang. Let's give my man. Let's give the man the confetti for that, man. Let's give him the confetti, dude. Oh shit. Wow, the confetti's going down. Back off, top. Yo, he did me dusty. Yo, he did me dusty. Make this fast, Doc. Oh, no, 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 no. No, I'm hitting him with straight right hands. I'm cheating. Cheese mode. Street fighter cheating. I'm cheating. This nigga's wildin'. No way. Hold up, I got life? Let me give myself some light before I step on a piece of glass and I meet my maker. A gun? Oh, it's in, I'm in here. Give me that gun. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Oh, we got a gear, so shit is turning around. Shit is turning around. When you gonna go see Spyro, Justin? I love this shit though, I can't even front. 
I love the whole concept of that. Stepping on that damn glass. What's that? Who's stepping on me? Could have been a rap for me. Wait. Was I supposed to go up there? Have bad though, what you think? I don't think that should look half bad. Decent fire, son. This shit's gonna got nothing on me. I do that in my sleep. A stun trap? I gotta start using some of them traps because I don't be using shit. I just straight duff them out. I take them to the school of hard knocks, feel me? Hit them with that bop bop and it's all. Oh, him, yo, he loves his mirrors, yo. Falsely accused. Oh. So many damn doors, yo. Yo, I just walked into there. That boom back, that's what you gotta hit somebody with sometimes, feel me? need to get my man Billy the Puppet involved in here. So I go to the stars. To be dancing right there. While we game out, we no disrespect. Follow me, my man Jigsaw. My man Billy the Puppet got the moves. Feel me? Yo, this is a hell of a looking stream. You got a handsome person like me. You got spiral avatars in the movie up here. You got Jigs, you got Billy the Puppet hitting the strut. Billy the, Billy the, the strippy. Billy the strippy. I like that. That has a nice ring to it. Falsely accused. Is it this way? Maybe. Man is done. 
My man Goldberg is done. Why do I say goodbye? I'm not, I'm not even gonna front. Let's go with my zombie dude though. Damn, all the things up up at once. Gas pedal, gas pedal, gas pedal, gas pedal, gas pedal. You already know me. Gas pedal, gas pedal, gas pedal, gas pedal, gas pedal. You already know me. Gas pedal, gas pedal, gas pedal, gas pedal, gas pedal. You already know me. No, I really want my zombie dude to pop out though. My man could really dance with y'all. You cannot say this is not funner than. Oh, what's going on, dude? Oh. That shit sounded nasty. That's a big ass heavy motherfucker, son. I'm out, I, 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 feet. So, so I helped you, right? Helped you spread your message or whatever? So, so will you let me go? I'm afraid I could not do that. Do you remember Detective Tap? Yeah, the cop that couldn't catch you. <laughs> Cut him up and killed his partner. It looks so funny you just to see Billy the puppet dancing. I believe that credit should be given where credit is due. You ruined the man's life with your constant insinuations. Words are powerful, Oswald, but so are actions. You did all of that to let me go? I was actually, I was actually, um, I was watching a review of this game, and the person was saying that this game deserved more credit, and I agree with her. Yo, tell me that I don't look exactly like they lazy as hell. You couldn't pick another character, man. Shoot both y'all niggas. What you call that? A double homie. Oh no. The mucus the mu the mucus. I was gonna say the mucus. The music is getting intense, bruh. They were cutting the combat's ass though, that's had me on the floor. They were saying that the combat's the combat system is whack, but you just gotta drop the sticks. And straight throw the hands. They obviously like boxing, bro. Like if you go like this, and you can shoot, get a gun, pop him. You got You can't tell me his form ain't trash. Now you just shoot like this, bro. How you do that? Hey, hey. Oh shit! From in the combination. Oh, I reached the checkpoint. Oh, oh! Those are my worst enemy, yo. Oh, what's that? These are my second worst enemy, yo. I'm the man, bro. So I'm gonna get that. Understand, bro? I rhyme like jigsaw puzzle piece. You know what I do? Because I come from the east. 
coast. I eat my jelly with toast. I don't roast. I boast. Whoa. Oh. Oh, shit, what the fuck is all this? Okay, let's go. Is this? Okay. We gonna figure this out because we always do. You know what I mean? That was simple, dog. Who do you think they dealing with? Snoop Dogg. I'm a Paul, but they think they got big balls for putting me in the whack traps and tricks. Didn't they know that tricks is for kids? Pieces of shit? Rigid arms contain the code. Man, my No, what's in here? You a ball-headed motherfucker. You bald headed. You and your twin brother bald headed. <laughs> Who's laughing in here, you bald headed ass motherfuckers? Y'all all bald headed. How you gonna be laughing at me? Whoa. <laughs> Six. Write that down for me in the chat, bro. 206. This is a trial of your pain as well as his. Slander is not an easy thing to face. There's got to be a few somewhere. They want me to walk past this shit? They wildin'. Up, oh, I guess. I guess not. Who are you? 206. Thanks. Oh. I guess I'm over here. Oh. Uh, where am I supposed to find it? As a kid, I always thought. Yeah, I'm telling you, bro. Billy the Pup is a piece of shit. He'll laugh in your face and all that.
So you notice I went this way this time. I wonder what's the difference if I go upstairs. Pieces to a puzzle. I could take a shower. I can't believe I wasted my shit. When are you seeing I'm spiral? Did you did you answer that shit? I don't know if you did. Upstairs. See, that's why you can't be a retard, because then you forget where the hell you come from. Just made it on time. You saw how close I was to dying? It was about to be my makeup. So is there something to hear from me? Hmm. So you think things change? I was almost done for. Oh, I gotta find that combination. I survive? No way. I survived. I'm a survivor. I'm a survivor. I gotta try to get my way back to that combination. That's 
the one thing about checkpoints. If you don't, if you don't do shit right, you're gonna have to do it again. That's crazy. That's true. So now I gotta do this shit again. Try not to bust our ass. Creepy ass babies, dog. I feel like doing a review for this game. Like after I complete the stream, I feel like reviewing the game because I'm gonna I'm complete it. Myself up for failure. 
I guess somebody with a crutch. You don't remember the trend where everybody was carrying one of these outside? What a corny ass trend. Oh, the rainbow. Two more of these, so I should be good. And I got bandies right over here. But I gotta, I gotta pinpoint. Drink some water. What could the valve be? Oh shit! My oh, man is done. Yo, this shit. Question, do you think there's gonna be more Saw movies after this one, like classic Saw movies? Damn, that's a great question, Justin. Well, they, they have announced a Saw 10. And from what I've heard, and this is just rumors, um, I think that is supposed to be more of a classical Saw movie. And I heard that there's some people in the Saw universe, like in the, in the production, that don't like this movie, but that could just be rumors because all the reviews seem to be positive. Yo. <laughs> so most of the movie seems um, positive. So I don't necessarily believe that. Got the bottle, bitch. So for me. Uh, I think there's a huge chance though, just to answer your question. I do believe there's a huge chance that this does connect in some sort of way because I was listening to a, a, a interview with Josh Stolberg and um, he's one of the writers and he actually follows me on Twitter. He followed me on Twitter, so I was very happy when I seen that. 
um, I was actually listening to an interview with him, um, and he actually said that he would love the opportunity to merge these three stories together. So that means the, the, the original seven movies, Jigsaw, which he was the half writer of, he's the half writer of Spiral, and he's the half writer of uh, Jigsaw, or was the half writer of Jigsaw. So he, in that interview, and this is a year ago when it was supposed to release last year, uh, excuse me, he was stating that. So he want, if, if he wants to connect the original seven Jigsaw, which I believe he means the modern part, and maybe explain a little bit of the, the part where um, his connection with Jigsaw, but it was really um, the, the modern day Logan story combined with the original seven, right, elaborate on his connection with the original seven movies and even what the Spire movie is. And I believe if that's what he, if that's what he's saying, a lot of these movies are kind of thought out years in advance, right? You gotta kind of, you gotta kind of plan them out. So, I believe. In fact, let's let's not assume that Spiral is not a classic Saw movie. We have to see it first. If it is a character from other movies, they wouldn't tell you that before the movie comes out. You're gonna have to watch that. That's the that's the pleasure of watching a Saw movie. Yeah. But you gotta remember though, to be fair, the puppet was personal to John. That was a puppet he made for his son. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then it turned into evil. It turned into a symbol of evil. But to him, it initially was a good thing. So I have a, I have a theory the fact that the puppet is a pig. If you remember Saw 3, the little girl, right, that survives in the end. Logan and Jigsaw takes place 10 years after Jigsaw's death, right? And that is that is pretty much around the same time that she was saved. She looked like she was a good, I don't know, 7 and 9? And if she's 789, that's, what, 16, 17, 18, that's, that's of age. You also notice that the puppet, the puppet is dressed up as a pig. Just want to see the pup. I also really enjoy the way it's looking like. I just want to see the image. Either way. You can kind of see it right there. This is a great photo, actually. That's a great background. So if you look at this background, oh, you should have told me, bro. So it's hard to bro. First of all, what the hell am I doing? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. 
Okay, look at this thing. It's definitely ugly. Is it a puppet? We also got to look at what a spiral is. To me, it was always it's always always about putting the pieces together and coming full circle. Ever heard of that saying? Coming full circle. But spiral fits it a lot better because maybe the puzzles will maybe will never close, right? His philosophy is already well tuned up. And like we were saying the uh, the previous stream, if John Kramer was a real person, he'd be the most famous serial killer on earth. Well, and technically, he's not a serial killer. He's definitely a kidnapper. But in terms of a technicality, I believe that's what Dr. Gordon was trying to get to. I believe he meant in the courts. Like technically in the courts, he's not a murderer. Like I don't think he'll be tried as a murderer. Because everyone is tried differently. Yeah, like you want me to read you a review that I've seen? Let me read you a review, my brother. So come here. I saw some really good reviews. Amy Rowland, too. I seen a video earlier. Somebody saying that it, it's trash, that it ruined, that it ruined the the Saw franchise, but he didn't see it. A man's either racist or he really doesn't want. Nah, this is hilarious. My man Jigsaw's getting freaky with it. Nah, you probably think you're waking up a scary movie four if you wake up and that's the yeah. that's that's the Billy puppet that's waking that's um, um riding the bike to you. But like, damn, my man Billy's behind the iron. And why he got the spurs in his nipples? That is hilarious, man. That is good. Right, let me see. Okay, well, it's not coming up as review, so I'm just going to have to put it like this, and it will pop up. I cannot wait. Yeah, like, look, he, he had one. He said, I made a triumphant return to the movies for Spyro from the Book of Saul. Chris Rock and Samuel L. Jackson led a fresh return to form that evokes both Seven and the original Saw, complete with effectively sadistic traps, topical social commentary, and signature twists. Hmm. Have you seen the movie Seven? Have you heard of the movie Seven? <laughs> That's O D, right? But have you heard of the movie Seven? Brad Pitt and Morgan and Morgan Freeman are in that movies. Is in that movie. It's actually an inspiration to the movie. Well, it's a, it's a place of reference for the movie Spirit. That's coming on Friday. So the fact that they come pairing it to seven only seems right.
Nah, imagine he's actually in Spiral. He's the Grand Pops. You got Chris Rock, the son. You got Samuel L., the Pops. Then you got Morgan Freeman, the Grand Pops. Holla at me. I'm not going to front that's funny. The way you said that Morgan Freeman, imagine him in the song movie. There are people right now bugging out like Samuel L. Chris Rock's about to be in a Saw movie? What the fuck? Yo, Justin, you want to know something I'm tired of during quarantine? Everything was shut down. I'm tired of this, B. I'm tired of this, my nigga. I'm tired of this fake ass popcorn, son. Pop Weaver, these nuts. Pop Weaver, you taste like cardboard pieces of shit turned into little bits of popcorn. This is definitely not sponsored by Pop Weaver, but if it was, I'd be dead lying to you. You feel me? I would rather you pop your weave off before you ever eat some pop weave popcorn again. Especially if you're going to the movies, man. I just can't wait to go on Friday and be. I just can't. I can't wait to smell. Hold on, hold on. The chat should be bigger, son. Yeah, so people can actually see the chat. Yay! How's Billy the Puppet doing? Hey! I'm just here, just standing here like this, like a, it's a product placement. You would just see me here for the next 20 minutes doing this. Then I would have realized. The fuck am I holding on to this for? But yeah, that was one review. Which I thought was very interesting. So the movie 7, just so that we can have an understanding. is actually a movie. It's a movie. With Morgan Freeman in 1995. I was three years old. And Morgan Freeman was still old. My man right here was 13 years old. I don't know if you knew. Simon, uh, Morgan Freeman? Yep. That's the dude. He's 13, bro. No cap. No cap like Brad Pitt, bro. You got no cap on. All right, so um, the comparisons to to Sparrow are pretty um, pretty clear when you consider the fact that in in the movie Seven, there's a serial killer. Um, he's writing messages on the walls, right? It appears like one or two of them he actually allowed them to survive, like he put them in games. Similar to like Saw, but not, it wasn't as cohesive in terms of the games themselves. It was much more about, it had a religious undertone to it. But either way, the movie was very interesting. I won't tell you the ending if you haven't seen it. Um, 
Morgan Freeman when he was 13 years old, as you can see right here. Um, he was the he was about to retire because he started as a sergeant when he was five. You feel me? So he was tired of that career. By 13, he's like, nah, I want to play Fortnite like Booga. You know what I'm saying? I want to be like Booga. Like Booga. I want to be like Booga and win the three million play Fortnite. So when he retired, he was going to train Brad Pitt's character, who, as you can see. Now, nah, fuck with you. I want to be playing with you. Is that Morgan Freeman? Look, he's been 50. He's been 50 since he was 13. <laughs> he don't age. He just at 13 look like this and just stop aging. So Morgan Freeman is essentially sick of it. He's retiring. He got seven days to retire. So this, I guess seven comes up many times. So he has seven days to retire. And that seven days, they give him one last assignment to train Brad Pitt. Right? While he's training Brad Pitt as a new detective, there's like this brand new serial killer out. And since Morgan Freeman is a top dog, very intelligent investigator, he figures out that there's going to be many more games moving forward. So he says, I can't handle this. I'm done. You guys handle this. I'm done. I'm retiring. So he was essentially sick of his career. He was going to retire, lay low, and do that. But as each as each death appeared, each another sin came out. So it became about the seven deadly sins. So the movie's called Seven because of the seven deadly sins. Like uh, uh, Sloth. It's like you don't care about nobody else. You don't care about yourself. Every um, greed... And name all the sins. It touches on each, each of those. And in each room or each place that he kills somebody, he places a message on the wall. So you can easily see how that ins that has some inspiration for Saul. But even more so, um, when you can when now you combine the fact that Spiral is about two detectives going outside. Usually Saul's indoors. Spiral looks like it's going to be going outdoors. That's why I, I compared it to Dexter in some ways. Because in Dexter, there was a lot of, there was some murders. I remember there's a specific season of Dexter that I'm referring to. Where there was a guy who, who kept killing people and placing them in public. And that's what Spiral reminds me of. And Jigsaw kind of touched on that too. Yeah, it's a good movie. Seven is definitely a good movie. And it's a good kind of precursor to, to uh, Spiral. Because he's the rookie cop, Brad Pitt. And then you got the senior cop, Morgan Freeman. When you go to Spiral. You can see where this is, this is actually... the rookie cop he's referring to. So this is the rookie cop. And uh, there's actually a couple clips online that shows you their dynamic to a certain extent. Or you see that Chris Rock is the hardened sergeant. He's probably been there for a long time. And you actually noticed that on the first trailer, right? It kind of had like a training day vibe to it. And did you hear what Chris Rock pretty much said? Chris Rock said that Jigsaw is the goriest Law and Order episode. The goriest Law and Order episode. See, this is why it's important to have a comedian involved in horror. You know, com comedy is so... Re um, is it Revenge? No, no, no. Obviously, I can't pronounce it, but in order for a, co a comedian to tackle a certain topic, they like to look at it from many different creative angles. And a part of being a comedian is coming out with your own perspective on issues that tackle the, the public. So uh, 
Dave Chappelle can't come out with the same material as Martin Lawrence, and they know that. And um, two great minds think alike. And even if they consider, even if they talk about the same topic, um, this is where creativity, originality, and your imagination come through. This is why in my stream, for example, I try to add my own work in the background, my thumbnail. Then I try to add some of these PNGs that I found in there. Right. And I think the change part has been apparent from the beginning, right? They didn't show the voice of the puppet in the first one, but they kind of alluded to it. In the second one, it kind of confirmed. No puppet, no voice, <clears throat> and I believe a new story. But they wouldn't call it Spiral from the Book of Saw if it, hadn't, if it had no connection. I believe believe that the connection is going to be poet. And I think that's that's going to be key to the movie's success, in my opinion. Because think about it this way. Do you want a situation where... Uh, do you want a situation where people are angry that you change saw? No, you don't want that. Or worse... Do you want people to say, why did you make come out with this movie and name it from the book of Saw? You should have just made another movie and just called it something else to be more creative. So it can be a spinoff. Without like a true connection. It's gonna be hard though. But I think they're gonna pull it off, man. Let's see if I can find any other. Yo, look at this, man. What a wonderful feeling that's gonna be when we go down. What's the last movie you seen in the theaters? This post is sick. I'm gonna see. Let's look at this clip. You want to play a game, Chief Banks? You want to play games, motherfucker? <laughs> How much? Incredibles 2? Oh. Well, that shit threw me off. I'm like, The Incredibles 2? Didn't that shit come out, man? Long ago when that shit came out. Last movie I seen was Sonic the Hedgehog. My man said The Incredibles 2. My man went to the movies in 2017. My man was quarantined before the quarantine was cool. Bro, no way. That was in 2018. You wildin'. <laughs> My man straight quarantined from 2018. Like, yo, what you been up to? I've been quarantining. You quarantining? Oh, man. Hold on, hold on. I think it's time that we we give our boy the congratulatory COVID. That's you right here, bro. This is all the COVID you can handle, son. This is a celebration that you've been you've been quarantining from COVID nineteen. In 2018, and now I'm here to let you know that, come on, it's 2021. Your three-year quarantine can be over, my man. I'm going to just leave the congratulations for another time. You stay healthy. You strong. <laughs> Damn. Oh, that was sick, though. I moved. You see that shit? Oh. I'm not even moving. It just looks like I'm doing it. I'm not even doing shit. Whoop. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, no worry. It's all about upgrades here. So next is a green screen. So know this digital green screen so you can actually see shit that I do. So when I go like that, right, this shit don't happen. You know what I mean? Look, now it looks like I got no arms. Nigga Jigsaw put me in the trap. Uh, I could have sworn I had blood splatter. Oh God. Yo, I'm wildin'. This is one that I got nothing to do. This shit don't got nothing to do with nothing, but I just saw it. <laughs> Yo, I just had to, son. My man said, like SpongeBob said, I'm safe indoors. You right, though. Do that the correct. <laughs> Actually, how does um? What does he look like? What's your man's name, though? Oh, there's a whole saw wiki? Oh, he was 17. So, hell yeah. Look, right here, bro. He was 17 years old when when, when uh, Saw 2 came out. So, he'll be, he'll be at least, he'll be close to 30. Yeah, he'll be close to 30. What about Corbin? So, three. Corbin to and cut us off, huh? Uh -huh. I just wanted to sleep with something. You think there's a chance she's the killer? How would you think she is right here? Like eight or nine? Oh no, she looks a little older right there. Eight or nine, I would say. Right here, she looked tennis. My man's six years old right here. He got a New York Mets high. I respect that. No, nah, but she's not dead. I would assume she's at that age so that she's at least 18. You know what I'm saying? But I believe that's possible. She's like maybe 10. All right, so she's 10, 10. She's like 20 years old. Let's just say she's at the least she's seven. No way, she's six. She's like a grown-ass six-year-old if she's six. Although a year, but in kids' years, a year's a huge difference. Um, so, yeah, she would be, let's say, 18 or 20 at the oldest. And she fits, especially when you consider that new voice. It's a light pitch. And Daniel's voice wasn't the deepest of voices either. Although he was 17, I'm sure by the time... Ten years past, his voice would have changed and sounded more manly, more masculine. Yeah. 
or the surviving characters. Dr. Gordon. They're definitely not singing in Dr. Gordon. So you remember Jigsaw. Who do you think picked up Eleanor? Well, I'm just trying to guess. Let's be honest. If you're looking for a reinvention, let's just look. Let's just look um, honestly. Oh. These niggas do is fucking argue with the same shit. It's getting me tired about to. Um, anyway, I should. I lost my. This. Hold up, hold up. This is how I feel inside. Oh, it's not popping up. That's cool. So now you want to act up. Cool. So since I got something to say. So. If you're reimagining the Saw franchise and you're looking for the antithesis of what came before, you're going to go from an old John Kramer to a young New Kim, I believe. Right? Jigsaw died in Saw 3, Saw 4. And... The Saw franchise is grounded in reality, so he never came back on some bullshit. Mm. It's definitely a voice changer. Definitely a voice changer. And look, in one of my breakdown videos, I did say that it could be it could be a trick for the trailers. Like once the movie plays, you actually hear the real voice. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to tell you the movie while it's happening. So you got Corbett, you got Daniel Matthews. Those seem like relatively young. Those are definitely young characters that they can do. I can see being at the helm of the future. <sighs> Who else can be? It's just going to be interesting who it's going to be. My man said, imagine Chris Rock. You talking about? You talking about? Chris Rock? My man hits you with the, so you want to play games, motherfucker? Why he look mad old right here? Yo, this image is stupid HD, though. You can see the fucking texture in his face. See, that's why sometimes you don't want a good camera. This shit shows you all your imperfections. But not for nothing, Chris Rock's aged wonderfully. Oh, that's it. That's Jigsaw. This Jigsaw, my dude. If he has the movie dressed up like my dude right here, it's over. You could call him Chris Saw. No, just know that's the thing about the Saw movies. Every Saw movie has a plot twist. That's a part of a Saw movie. If it doesn't have a plot twist, 
then someone fucked it up. The name of the company is called Twisted Pictures. So it's twisted because of all the glory, but it's also Twisted Pictures because, you know. All right. Oh, my niggas dancing. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, it's not even here. keep pausing it but I remember earlier I seen I was watching a video and my man straight my man said my man that I said that Saw 2 was trash and I never played it before It's so funny every time he dies. No, I'm just telling you about the review. That shit had me on the floor. The way he was talking about it. Now this shit's underrated, bro. This game right here, especially. This game is fun. It's funny because I did this shit. I already did this shit. And then I'm hearing Billy the Puppet. I don't even know why I did this shit to myself. You got Billy the Puppet right here dancing. And then when I die, he laughs. And look at me. I'm just here complaining. I'm going to just kill myself. Mentally ill.
this. It's over. Brain ain't working. Yeah, my brain forgot how to work. Actually, it's not that ridiculous, huh? Because when you consider the fact that uh, uh, he's he is tackling the cops. You see, uh, I love this. I love this right here. Able to like view the image, right? But anyway, that picture is obviously on Master Part One. Yeah, but if you look at the pig's outfit, right? Let me see. Let's 
see. Okay, let's see when the stream. Oh, this is I don't know what the fuck happened, son. Let's just show you. 